Hi Josh. Hi Becky, how's it going? Oh, I'm pretty good mate, yeah? Yeah, good. Have you been cooking again? Yeah, yeah. This, uh, well, we're cooking a Middle Eastern Easter Feaster. A Middle Eastern Easter Feaster? What is yeah. that? Well, Tell me it. all about this Middle Eastern Easter Feaster. That's what it is, it's a Middle Eastern Easter Feaster for Easter. Okay, so uh, so yeah, let's get straight in. Uh, first thing we've done is some Periwood Farm lamb koftas with some tahini and some za'atar. Uh, then Seasun's classic, we've got some chicken shawarma on a bed of couscous with some mint and cardamom yogurt, um, harissa and dukkha. And then we've given you a bag of the Shropshire Micro Greens from the Shropshire Micro Farm that you can decorate your dishes how you please with. Um, and then over here we have some marinated red peppers uh, with some shallots, garlic parsley, red wine vinegar, sugar. Um, and then we have basically what we used to call harissa chickpeas on the menu but made with some carlin peas, hot dog carlin peas. Um, kind of a tomato-y, harissa -y kind of bean stew basically. Uh, and then we've got some lovely lane cottage leaves. These aren't the lane cottage leaves, but hopefully we'll have them next week in a kind of pomegranate vinaigrette. Uh, this is something called bisara, that's somewhere between a sort of Moroccan soup and a dip. You can have it both ways, thinner or thicker. We're somewhere in the middle, so <coughs> yeah, it's basically fava beans, spiced fava beans, um, cooked down and turned into a really nice puree. So a little bit like a hummus, but that sort of idea. Uh, these are some marinated greens in lots of spices, um, yeah, onions, oil, kind of just sort of cooked down and wilted in those nice spicy flavours. Uh, this is our Seasons flatbread with some onion seeds and cumin seeds going through them. And then next up we've got, well basically this has all been on the dishes already but we've given you extra so that you can play with it a bit. Uh, it's the mint and cardamom yogurt, and the dukkha, the za'atar, and some tahini dressing. And I think that's about it. And uh, for pud, uh, yeah, pud, uh, we've gone pretty classic. Uh, it's um, another Labner cheesecake kind of vibe. Uh, but this is a honey and co recipe that we've kind of stolen a little bit. Uh, and yeah, as you can see down on the plate, uh, there's a little nest of um, a phyllo pastry and then sat on top of that is a rose water sweetened labna. Uh, we've got some delicious poached rhubarb from Y Valley. Uh, we've sprinkled that with a pistachio duca uh, and then there's a saffron honey, honey from Phil and Chloe Evans uh, in um, Herefordshire. Uh, so yeah, pretty tasty, simple, easy dessert. Nice and light to finish off after that crazy feast. Uh, so yeah, if you fancy the Middle Eastern Easter feaster, uh, you can order it online at seasons.uk. Uh, it comes as a meal kit, uh, everything is pre-prepared for you and literally all you have to do is reheat it either in the oven or in the pan uh, and uh, you can create this insane feast all uh, ready to go for yourselves this Easter. Um, so yeah, if you fancy it, get on an order, we deliver nationally uh, and that's about it really. I think so, yeah. yeah Enjoy, we'll see you next week.